Hey everybody, what's up? I'm back, finally. I want to make this video like a week ago or so, but uh, yeah, you know how it is, right? Like real life and university and all that kind of crap. And yeah, I'm gonna try to make videos more frequently in the future. But yeah, I don't want to promise that. So in this video, I'm gonna start a new series. And in this series, I will explain to you the basic functions of redstone that you can use, that you can combine to bigger contraptions like, I don't know, computers or the stuff that I'm building in the redstoning series and stuff like that. And as of that, the series will be called Minecraft Redstone Functions. And yeah, I would say let's start with the first episode, right? Okay, so in the first episode we will talk about the four basic functions of which one you will pretty much never use because it has been replaced by an actual block. Um, so the first and very basic function is called a NOT gate. So we have our input line here. Let's get ourselves a lever. Oops. <laughs> uh, that's our... Yeah. That's our input line. On, off. I'm usually using the terms 0 and 1 instead of on and off um, because, yeah, it's like computer style thingy, right? So this would be 0 and this would be 1. And uh, this is our input line and this over here is our output line. And if you place a block here and a torch there, the torch is on and as we know, torches provide a constant redstone signal so this line is on aka 1. And um, the thing is that torches turn off whenever they get a signal. So if I turn this to 1, then the torch will turn off and the output will turn to 0. So the output will always have the other state than the input. So right now the input is 1 and the output is 0. And if I switch the out, uh, input to 0, the output will be 1. And as of that, it's a NOT gate because the output is always the exact opposite of the uh, input. Pretty simple. That's the first thing. The second function is the function that you will never use. And it's called a repeater. You know the repeater is uh, that thing, but there's an actual repeater function. And the reason for that is that we know that a signal can only travel 15 blocks, right? And then it will just burn out because the signal strength is down to, the down to zero then. Um, the problem is, ha what if you um, want to have a signal going more than 15 blocks? How do you do that? Well, of course, you would say, just place a repeater and that's it. But there were times in Minecraft Alpha and Beta when there weren't these blocks added. And how did we do that then? Well, we know that Redstone Torch provides signal of signal strength 15, so it pretty much resets the signal strength. No matter um, what's coming in, this will always be 15 as long as this torch is on, right? Um, so if I just do this, we have a NOT gate once again, but we usually want the input and the output, uh, the output, not the output, the output to be the same state, right? So if the input is 0, we want the output to be 0, and if the input is 1, we want the output to be 1. So how do we do that? Well, as it's pretty logical, two NOT gates uh, put after each other negate themselves. So two NOT gates is like a NOT NOT gate. So we have the signal coming in here with uh, state 0. The first NOT gate negates it to uh, 1 and the second NOT gate negates that back to 0. And if I now flip this to on, oops, we have this as input line as 1. The first NOT gate turns it to 0 and the second NOT gate turns it back to 1, but with signal strength 15. So even if this is only signal strength 1, it doesn't matter because this is signal strength 15, so you can use this contraption to, well, make the function, uh, make the line go farther than 15 blocks. There is a smaller version of this, and that is pretty much doing this, like that. That's the first not get here, and the second not get here, and yeah, that's just the smaller version of this. 
Um, and yeah, as I said, you usually don't ever use it because we have the repeater block now. It's better because this one always has a um, has a delay of two ticks because each shot just one tick. You can change this between f one and four ticks. You can actually use it to um, isolate signals from each other and they have this function where you can uh, block one repeater by pointing another one into it and stuff like that. So the actual repeater block is much more uh, flexible and much better than the repeater function but yeah, it's. Um, I'm talking about this for completeness, kind of, because the. Oops. <laughs> because the next two functions actually are actually based on uh, the repeater function here. So let's talk about the next one. The next one actually has two inputs. Let's put the inputs a bit farther away from each other, like that. So let's try this. We have linked this. We have two input lines here, and pretty much this is just a repeater, right? It's pretty much the same thing that we have there. But this repeater now has two inputs and one output. Well, <laughs> simple, right? Um, what is this? Well, oh <laughs> I keep destroying these blocks by accident. Um, so what's this? This is called an OR gate because this torch turns off whenever that or that thing turns on. And that torch turns on whenever that is off, right? So whenever that input or that input is on, or both of course, then the output will be on. And that's pretty much an OR gate. So if that is one or that is one, that will be one. Right? That's an OR gate. It's uh yeah, commonly used. There are other versions of OR gates because what you can also do is just putting two lines together and whenever you flip that or that fl lever, uh, this line will be on here, right? So this would ac be the actual OR gate. But the problem here is that it's not isolated. So if uh, the signal that's going back here, if you flip this on, the signal will also go back here and if that f uh, activates the function there, that would be bad, right? So a common uh, fix for that is by just is just putting repeaters here and then the signal cannot go back there. Right? That's another version of the NOT gate. And then we have the fourth basic function, and that is, well, the AND gate. And what we do here is we just build another repeater. But this repeater is kind of bound to this, so it's not this uh, stride thing, it's like going around these uh, corners, right? And the thing is that if I now put whoops, like <laughs> if I now put another torch here, um, we kind of have two repeaters matching into each other, right? And the thing is that this torch is of course only on when this line is off. And this line is only off when both torches are off and each of these torches are off if their corresponding input are on. So if that thing is on and that thing is on, that thing will be on. Right? So if both inputs are on, the output will be on. Otherwise, the output will be off. Pretty simple. Um, there's actually not like a simpler way like with the not gate, uh, like with the OR gate. But yeah, that's the AND gate. There are the four basic gates, but there are variations of the OR gate and the AND gate. And that is called NOR gate and NAND gate. And what that is, is it's pretty much the gate. Like for the NOR gate, you just take an OR gate. Oops. You just take an OR gate like this. And what you do is you put a NOT gate at the end. So you negate the output. And this is a NOR gate. Now you notice that we have three NOT gates here and the first two, uh, the last two in fact, the first, this one we cannot replace this one with anything because it's actually the uh, actual OR function, right? Um, 
but this NOT gate is just for negating this signal once again, and this NOT gate is just for negating this signal again. So these two can destroy each other. So we could just do this, right? And we can make it even easier, uh, or even smaller, I should say, by just replacing this with this, right? It's the same thing. And you notice that it's pretty much a NOT gate with two inputs. That's a NOR gate. And yeah, it's uh, pretty simple. The it just says whenever that is on, or that is on, that is off. That's a not. Uh, that's a NOR gate, right? So an OR gate says whenever one of the inputs is on, the output will be on. A NOR gate says whenever one of the inputs is on, the output will be off. And the NAND gate is pretty much the same thing. You just put a NOT gate at the end, and that negates the signal. So a not an AND gate says whenever both inputs are on, the output will be off. Otherwise, the output is on. And we aga once again have this NOT gate and this NOT gate, which eliminate each other, so we can just do this. And yeah, if you uh, take a look at this, and we can actually make this smaller by just doing this. And if you take a look at this, uh, you see that it's pretty much two NOT gates um, pointing into the same output line. And yeah, that's the, NOR uh, the NAND gate. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So these are the four basic functions. NOT gate, repeater, which is pretty much two NOT gates put after each other. OR gate and NOR gate. AND gate and NAND gate. Th those are the four basic functions. And yeah. That's it for the first episode of uh, Redstone Functions, I would say. So, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you want to see more videos of this kind, subscribe to my channel. And see you next time. Right? Goodbye.